right now. Right after one of the last. Good morning. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. Okay. Let's do Pisces. Let's do Pisces. Next two weeks. November 2019. Pisces. Wow. You got the Ace of Coin and the Ten of Cups. Let me see these two that wanted to come out. Fountain and Strength. Wow. Okay. So it looks like you have a new opportunity. Okay. You do have the Eight of Swords, so you're very unsure. But there's something or someone. There's definitely something in your life that you're going to be happy about. Um, Pisces. But you're like all up in your head. I, I think more or less like, wow, that's a whole lot. I think more or less it's like feeling choked up. I don't... I wanted to say somebody around you is not being authentic, uh, although I do feel like you got the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords, so this, this shifted quick. What is happening? So I'm not saying like right now happy-go-lucky and within a few days or a week or something you're going to be like, oh my god. I mean, possibly, but I, I, I don't really see it like that. Um, I think you took yourself out of that, to be honest with you. Tell me about this Ace of Coins. Let's see what the cards have to say. Next two weeks, Pisces. Ten of coins, six of wands. So something is going to be extremely successful. A foundation, you go from the ace to the ten, you could be getting a new job. This is like spiritual victory. You're going right towards happiness. Um... Tell me about that. I did see the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I forget which sign had that. It was like a surprise. I think it was Taurus. You got the Hierophant. So this is, is something spiritual too. You could be teaching something. You could be in the public eye. I'm trying to think which read. It actually was Taurus. Where towards the end it was like, what is this? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. So this new opportunity comes in, and it it for the Empress, which is you guys right now. So yeah, please go watch Taurus. But you're there's confusion. Regarding a new start, it's either work or love. I mean, the Ten of Coin, Ace of Coin, this new start that's going to be extremely successful is going to leave a solid foundation and I believe at the end of Taurus um because it was like a big congratulations no it wasn't the end of Taurus one of my videos had it's like going towards a solid foundation I forget which one it was I think it was actually Taurus my goodness, you're, you're going to not know what to say. And I just did it again, like loss for words. I, I, you're not going to know what to say. It's, it's like mind-blowing energy. You're going to be all up in your head. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. So something is something big is going to be presented. And yeah, see, this is heavy. 
So I don't know what this is linked to, but something big is going to be presented to you and you're, you're going to be able to put the weight down or you're going to consider putting the weight down. I feel like you already did. Tell me about the five of swords. Hmm. Five of swords, Taurus. Oh, see, I did it again. This is my Pisces. Go watch Taurus. There's some type of crossover there for sure. King of Wands. Yeah, see, I just, I talked about him. I forget where he came out to. I think it was Taurus. <laughs> yeah, undergoing a transformation. I just think you're going to be like, this person's going to want to take a leap of faith and... You're not going to know what to do. Before that even ha I don't know if they're linked to the new start. They are. They are linked to the new start. So this is going to be tough. But such positivity you must know you must feel it there's something you know but to me it's a spiritual knowing you got two tens and an ace I mean you're going to have to make a decision I mean, the, the Two of Swords ha is not even coming into play, so that means, like, it's, you already know it's not questionable. Tell me about the Empress. Actually, tell me about this. I already did that. Tell me about the Empress. might want to watch Aries too because it was my Aries in love now what and that makes a lot of sense on why we keep getting to this and we got the knight of swords so yeah you, I mean you're gonna get a message you're gonna be faced with it there's there's no way around it but I mean it looks sensational I mean it truly looks fantastic You're just going to be at a loss of words. Best advice from my Pisces. Best advice from my Pisces regarding this new star. That's way too many. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck, the sun. So talk about it. Be truthful with yourself. Look at the positive in this situation because something has tremendous growth. It's very positive. Bottom of the deck is the hangman, so you need to change your perspective, the way you're looking at something when it comes to this. So you don't stay in this so you don't even get to this so you don't even consider it a, a no-go you understand what I'm saying because the Empress it's it's clarity become the Knight of Swords the Queen of Swords clear communication honest communication speak the truth there's a lot of potential here all right, that was very clear cut. I love you guys. Have a great day, my little Pisces. And if you want more insight on what's going on, I, I am still doing personal readings. You can 
go to the link below into the description box and you will find my links there. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye. Be happy. This is fantastic. Okay, very positive. Bye.